What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use blend shape to improve your rig and poses. So sometimes our rig have their limitation like this. Okay, you can see this V shape over here for this example. Even if I translate, okay, it doesn't help. So right now I'm going to use the blend shape to push this weird shape up to make it a better shape. Very first step, we're going to create a blend shape for this. So we need to select the caster. Once we change the 1 to 0, as you can see it pop up like this. So this is the T-shape that we want to use as a blend shape. So once we duplicate it, Control D, we have a body and Shift P to unparent it. Right now I can change this to blend shape, body, mesh. Then we realize that these uh, values are locked. So we need to unlock it, right click and select unlock selected. Now we can move this mesh away and select the original one and put it back to the usual place. Change it to one, we will snap it back to one. So this is the mesh that we want. Now we're going to create a blend shape. So first select this blend shape, then select the original one and go to rigging deform blend shape and click it and we will see blend shape 1 appear over here so right now what we want to do is to change this to 1 first so to test it out we can go to vertex when you move the head up it's working very well by default you need to check the input of this so click this right click and go to input or input be sure that the blend shape is below the caster so the skin caster come later blend shape come first if not it will have some weird uh, movement over here make sure everything is okay ready then we can do our correction so what we want to do is to use this the V shape to make it become a better shape okay so right now I'm going to select the vertex I can select and press B for soft select now we're going to push this up a bit somewhere around here here and here push it up a bit if you want to increase the size you can hold the B and left click move it bigger and smaller Let's make it a bit nicer. Okay, something like this. Right, so we can check the before and after. See the blend shape? Just move it from 1 to 0. This is the front view. So this uh, better shape, we can see the V shape is gone. So you can use this blend shape to improve all your poses. So right now we are done. We can animate this blend shape. We can put a keyframe over here. So example, we have an animation here where this guy is trying to punch, make a forward punch. So right now, the original at this pose we don't need a blend shape here because the original one looks better over here right so right now we need to key this one around around here 13 you can right click and key selected you can see the red color that means it's key then we will punch someone so after it punch you can see this weird 
V shape come up. So this is the time where we need to use the blend shape to correct the shape. Okay, after that, when they go back to the original pose, I think around here, we don't need the blend shape again. We can change this to zero. Alright, so this is how you use blend shape to correct the shape. Now it looks better. So say we have another area that is so we found some issue over here. We can see that this weird shape come out again. So we want to fix this part. But if you're going to use this character as your base, if you're going to change this side and it will affect the, the other side also. You will actually affect this side. What do I mean by that? If you're going to change this to 1, it will affect this. But right now we don't want this, we don't want the blend shape to affect this side. But we want it to affect only this side. So we have to create another blend shape to actually fix this area. So let me undo it. We have to create another blend shape for this. So using the same step, skin caster, put it to zero. Then duplicate it and unparent it. Then create a blend shape, body mesh, two. This is for the right shoulder. Same thing, you can unlock this. Right click, unlock selected. Okay, now we can move it around. Then we select the original one and we move it back to the original place. Now we're going to create a blend shape for this guy. So instead, we click this, the blend shape guy and the original one. We go under rigging, deform. So instead of the usual blend shape, we can use this edit blend shape add and click the option. We want to use this as the same blend shape over here. So we need to specific this node. Okay, make sure you select this and the name appear over here. After that, click apply. What will happen over here? You have a blend shape tool over here. So this is another one you can play with it. So once we change this to one and we can see this guy, then we zoom it over here. Okay, say we want to make this shape looks a bit better. Then after that, you can use this blend shape to change it to one. And you can start to tweak your blend shape two over here. Okay, you can start to play with it to make it a better shape. Something like this and yeah, you can use your time to actually make it better. So for now, I will just leave it like this. Okay, just to give you an idea. So now this will have another option to play with it from 0 to 1. So we can see that this this is how we uh, how we use blend shape to actually correct your shape over here. We have one on the top part. Okay, then we have the other one for the other right shoulder. So this shoulder you also can use keyframe to play with it. So key selected. Say we want forty. Okay, forty two to become zero and 54 and we changed back to zero so now we can see some of the shape we can see that it is better compared to the previous version all right guys so hope you learned something and yeah see you next time if you guys enjoy my video do remember to like share and subscribe as I will be posting more video in the future. Take care.